مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of grade 9, welcome back Today inshallah we are going to continue our talk about module 6 with the title A Modern World Lesson A, Reading Part 2, page 62 so now let's get started. Our objectives today are to read and scan the text to complete six sentences, also to find the synonyms and the antonyms of a set of vocabularies. And now let me remind you of the most important vocabulary we discussed last time. We have optimistic, which is to be hopeful and confident about the future. Pessimistic, to see the worst aspect of things or believe that the worst will happen. Next, we have futurologists. They are the people who study and deal with the future possibilities based on current events. We have here solar power, wind power, which are sorts of alternative energy. Finally, we have some types of natural disasters. Speaking of natural disasters, let me show you a video which talks about the top 10 natural disasters. Thank you. 
Now, dear students, let's move to page 62. Now, before answering the questions, let's have a look at the text once more. Module 6. A Modern World. 6a. 1. Read. Life on Earth, a hundred years from now. Since the 1950s, we have destroyed more than a third of the natural world. Our way of life has caused many serious environmental problems. We use huge quantities of natural resources and produce too much rubbish. Pollution is affecting the climate and our planet is getting warmer. The question is, will things ever change for the better? Some scientists are optimistic and believe that with the help of science, today's environmental problems will disappear. Other scientists are pessimistic and believe that soon it will be too late to save the planet. We asked two futurologists their views about life on Earth a hundred years from now. The global population will increase and reach approximately 16 billion. There won't be enough food or resources for everyone. Temperatures will be higher than they are today. As a result, the Amazon rainforest will disappear completely and the area will turn into a desert. The ice at the poles will melt and sea levels will rise. As a result, some cities in coastal areas, as well as islands that are not very high above sea level, will flood and disappear. Air pollution will keep increasing and people will suffer from lung diseases because of the polluted air. Jake Davis People will use alternative energy resources, such as solar power and wind power, much more than they do today. However, most of the world's energy will come from cold fusion, a clean, safe and free energy resource. Scientists will control the weather. It won't be cheap, but they will use technology to prevent natural disasters in certain areas. Extensive desert greening will take place and most of the world's deserts will turn into forests. Nicola Brand Now, dear students, after reading the text, let's complete the sentences. Number one, exist because of our way of life. The answer is many environmental problems. Number two, human produce a lot of the answer is rubbish. Number three, according to Davis, people won't have enough food or resources. Number four, he also believes that the Amazon rainforest, the ice of the pole, some cities in coastal areas and some islands won't exist a hundred years from now. Number five, According to Brand, scientists will be able to stop some natural disasters from happening by using technology. Finally, number six, she also believes that the earth will be greener and desert will become forest. Now, let's move to question D. Look at the text again and find synonyms of the words or phrases below. Amounts, number one, which we'll find it in the introduction. The synonym, يعني المرادف لكلمة amount, is quantities. Number two, waste or litter, which is also in the introduction. The answer is rubbish. Number three, opinions. Also, you can find it in the introduction. Then the answer is views. Number four, worldwide. The answer is global. Number five, for example, the answer is such as. Now let's find the antonyms for the words below. Kilmit antonym ma'naha al mudad. Number six, decrease. And the antonym is increase. Number seven, exactly. The antonym is approximately. 
number eight, low. The antonym is high. And finally, number nine, clean, is the opposite to polluted. Now we have come to the closure. There is a question, dear students, I need you to think about. What do you do to protect the environment? If you have an answer to this question, I will be happy to receive it on the forum on the school website. And by this, we have come to the end of our session for today. Until we meet next time, أقول لكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية.